Hello everyone, I'm Alex, and welcome back to another episode of the Internet Sensation Podcast. This time, we're doing it properly on the internet, because I'm joined with Lewis Bucken from Scotland. Hey, nothing but a hound dog! And Alpha TV. Yeah. He's, he's made himself permanent co- uh, co-host of this podcast by randomly putting it in his Instagram bio this week. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I asked you for permission first, to be fair. He's the new... <laughs> He's the new yeah. official co-host of the uh, Internet Association podcast. Let me let me let me read it. I respect it, to be honest. <laughs> I love that it's called Internet Internet Sensation Pod in a padlock. <laughs> Are you in a chastity cage? He's locked in. Oh no, that's that's for that's for Foot Asylum locked in. What after. to the group channels we're gonna make? Uh, still there. <laughs> Just waiting on a free day where everyone's free. Sounds like my fucking life. Um, well, welcome to the podcast, everybody. Uh, I've asked you guys for some questions at home. I just want to say thank you so much for the love on the first episode. Greatly appreciate it. Um, really, really. They were, yeah, they were actually yeah, fucking class. It was very, very nice. nice. Um, uh, I just want to explain. We're doing uh, this episode on Discord, obviously, because Lewis um, lives in Scotland. Uh, we were going to do it in person, oh, but uh, he booked the wrong flight to London. Oh yeah, I, I did do that. I did do that. Do you know what the last part is? That's the third time I've done that this year. How? So I don't it, understand how that's possible though. In 2023? Yeah, or the uh, past well, 12 uh, months. Uh, uh, last 365 days, probably mm. last 250 days. I did it, so I've missed three flights. And norm- the thing is, normally I'm so good, but sometimes I get so stressed and I don't check. And I thought I got the dates mixed up and pretty much I went to book it and then I went to book it the right date and it didn't go through because I put like my expiry date wrong or whatever it was. So then I went to rebook it and I didn't look at the date, but I just looked at one that was the exact same price as the one I tried to book. So I was like, oh, that's mm. it. I, I, in hindsight, and I just clicked on it. And then I went to check in for my flight 24 hours before and they went, sorry, you cannot check into flights that have been flown. And then uh, I was like, oh, great, it's happened again. And I don't want to tell my family because I, I did it twice on my brother's wedding twice oh my twice. goodness what um, were they refundable so uh, i i've not even tried uh so <coughs> i when i was in portugal for my brother's wedding i i tried to go home i actually i had a shorter stay than everyone else and i said like, you know what i'm gonna stay for an extra few days so i missed my first flight on purpose and then i got another one uh like in a day's time two days time whatever and then when I went to check in for that flight, I went, sorry, you cannot check into a flight that's been flown. And I was like, oh, I've mm. done the wrong date again. So How do you mess it up this badly, genuinely? Like, like when I'm flying, I'm so worried like that I'm going to like mess something up or I'll get there and, you know, maybe the flight will get cancelled. So I'm always checking. Like I, I check everything like maybe 50 times over. Yeah, literally. I really so I, I do when it's a big thing. flight. When it's a big flight going to somewhere big, I normally do. But if it's me flying myself just to London or something, I don't really vigorously check it that much. And it's came back to bite me in the bottom. So Yeah. yeah. Well, I, we wanted to do episodes on Discord anyway, because it means we could obviously bring in like more people uh, in terms of like, you know, with the schedule and everything. You know, a lot of people are very busy. Um, so there will be a few episodes that will be done on Discord. Uh, and then potentially maybe if people really like these then even when we're doing the ones in person we'll do like boneless weekly episodes like the plan is to you know we're not limited to one podcast a week basically uh yeah. so people understand kind of going forward on this channel yeah, what's going on there's, so, no, there's no damage in on discord because it's, it's nothing like you spent like 100k in a studio or anything like that no like, no no it's not like i've spent all my all that money on a, on a, on a big expensive studio with lights um uh no uh, it's not like that ever happened uh, but the plan is, is with these, hopefully, as long as we can just do an episode on a fairly regular basis, I can make my money back. Um, so, uh, yeah, thank you guys for turning up. I have something for you guys that involves me sharing my screen. Um, oh. I, no. Okay. I, I have uh, been using AI recently because I've, oh. I've given up on generating. You finally got yourself a girlfriend. He's getting naked pictures of his mother. <laughs> Alex Elmsley what? mum naked. <laughs> I've been <laughs> using Sorry, go on, Alex. AI to help generate ideas and stuff because I can't be bothered to think anymore. I've given up on thinking. It's something that I feel like is overrated and causes okay. me immense pain. Um, so I've generated a, a little story here. Um, okay. And I want you guys to help me generate some more. Um, can you see my screen here? Yep. Oh, oh, of course. All oh, right. I've I seen, I've seen the, first the first two words. The first two words. 
I just realised. Paul breached me in a goblin. We're gonna have to. Beaker. We're gonna have to quickly cap, clap, clap sync live on the podcast because we actually haven't done that. I totally forgot about that. Are you guys ready for this? This is, everybody at home yeah. can watch this as well. It's gonna be a great part okay. before we get to the story. On the count of uh, right. on three, so on three we will clap. Okay. okay. So it'll be one, two, three. All right. Does that work for everyone here? Yep. Yeah. All right. One, two, three. Oh, that that was do that one more time. I. It's fine, Arthur. L- it's fine. It's Lewis not went fine. At a very what different is going time. on here? I, I just explained it to you guys, and you and you've messed it up. Quick rerun. Quick, quick rerun. Try it again. I've got the idea. Get your hands up. I want to fucking see your hands up, man. Because I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. Get your fucking hands up. Get your fucking hands up. I'm gonna shoot you. Okay. All right. One, two, three. Fucking hell! What are you guys doing? I did it at the exact same time when you, when I heard three, I All clapped. Right, I, that's I did it on your time. It's just your internet. That's as good as it's going to get. All right. Yeah, that would be the internet. All right. Are you guys ready? Um, who wants to take anyway. Who wants to take the role of Paul Breach in this story? I can't read. Go on, I'll, I'll be Paul in this story. Are you going to be the narrator? I'll be, I'll be the goblin. I can be goblin. All right, and I'll be, okay. and I'll be the narrator. All right, you guys ready? Should I, do a, okay. should I do a narrating voice? Yeah, go on. Why not? Paul- Maybe for like 10 seconds. Paul Breach was a seasoned adventurer always on the lookout for the next challenge. He had travelled far and wide, seeking out hidden treasures and encountering strange creatures. With girls above <laughs> they're the called children. They're called adults, I think. <laughs> um, both very funny there. But, you'd ne- nice, but he see. had never come across a goblin before. <laughs> At least not until one fateful day. Um, so I just, oh, I just kind of reading it. It was a dark and stormy night and Paul was making his way through a dense forest. He had heard rumours of a powerful artefact hidden in these woods, and he was determined to find it. As he walked, he heard a strange noise coming from behind a nearby tree. It was Arthur TV's mother, sucking on <laughs> some man. Yeah, brilliant. Um, Paul cautiously approached, drawing his sword just in case. As he got closer, he saw a small green creature. What is your mum, Arthur? <laughs> With a mischievous grin on its face. How do you reckon that grin would be? Who's playing the goblin? Lewis, you're the goblin. <laughs> Fantastic. The Fuck Spotify me. the Spotify audio people are gonna love that. Oh no, we got video on there as well. Um oh. so they could they could they could enjoy Enmashed. that. They could enjoy that in its full glory. It was a goblin. Paul had heard Paul had heard tales of these creatures before, but he'd never actually seen one in person. The goblin was holding a shiny object in its hand and it seemed to be taunting Paul with it. There you go, Arthur. Hi, who are you? Paul asked. I am a goblin, of course. Yeah. <laughs> oh, In a shiny little object is mine. Oh my god. What do you want? Oh, Did you just skip the narration entirely? <laughs> yeah, we just fucked the narration. I think it's funnier. All right, fuck it's narration. For dialogue. Fuck my job. All right, carry on then. Go on then. Go on then, Arthur. I am Paul Breach, adventurer. <laughs> And I'm seeking the artifact that is said to be hidden in these woods. Perhaps you can help me find it. What do you reckon he's looking for? <laughs> the artifact, you say. <laughs> I know of it, but I will not help you for free. You must give me something in return. A blowjob. Oh, Jesus oh Christ. Yeah, because I haven't got I money. I just added that part in. Yeah, you've, um, you're, you're ad-libbing. Feel free to ad-lib, by the way, off this, boys. I will give you these coins in exchange for your help. <laughs> He said, holding up the pouch. The goblin snatched the pouch eagerly and led Paul deeper into the forest. They walked for hours until they came to a clearing. In the centre of the clearing was a large stone pedestal, and on top of the pedestal was the artefact that Paul had been seeking. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> now, where are my coins? <laughs> oh my god. And my teenagers. Uh, j- oh, fucking hell. This is awful. Paul has Paul's cut and sees teenagers. O- okay. Paul hesitated for a moment, wondering if he had made a mistake in trusting the goblin. Do you guys think he made a mistake in trusting the goblin? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the goblin's a convicted criminal. <laughs> Unlike him. But he knew that he needed the artifact and he didn't have any other way to get it. He handed over the coins and the goblin scampered away, cackling with glee. <laughs> Could you actually cackle, please? <laughs> Paul was left alone in the clearing. It is. I was <laughs> expecting some sort of 
high intellectual discourse on this second episode some no. profundity <laughs> I decided and instead I, we've met I decided I wanted to do away with the fucking serious topics and, and yeah. have a bit of a laugh <laughs> He also felt a sense of accomplishment knowing that he had found the artifact he had been seeking. And who knows, maybe he would meet more interesting creatures on his next adventure. It's actually quite a cute little story. If it it wasn't, is, actually. You know, um, yeah. the, the thing is, what's great about this is you can literally generate like fucking anything. So, like, give, let's do a scenario. Like, all right, name a person, Arthur. Um, me. Okay. You are Arthur. Arthur TV. All right, what scenario should they be in, Lewis? Um, Why did you just give me vapor stuck pronouns? in a bowling ball. <laughs> got his uh, finger <laughs> stuck in a, a a really big bowling ball. <laughs> in in a big bowling ball, and it turns him on. Um. Okay. You know what? Get generating. Oh no! That no, statement Chat is, GPT oh, is no. quite. You know, if you do too many things that are like questionable, you get banned from ChatGPT. Wait, really? Yeah, generally, people have been like revoked access for it. Arthur TV for... gets his hand. And that brings us to today's sponsor, NordVPN. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's not. We don't have a sponsor on it. And Wendy Wildhog has to help him. Trapped in a bowling ball. And Paul Breach has to hit another Kanye. Oh, no. Pole. And, and. <laughs> Kanye. <laughs> I was going to name Kanye West has to help him. Kanye West has to help him. All right. He wants to play Arthur. But he cannot be... Go on, I'll, I'll play me. Uh, oh, wait, hang on. It's giving us a way to fix it. It's giving it. you a serious one. I don't think it's you prompted it with, response. like, a tell us the story. He can, if he cannot remove his hand from the ball, it is recommended to seek professional medical help as soon as possible. <laughs> Kanye West, as a celebrity, may not be equipped with the necessary <laughs> medical expertise to help in such a situation. Oh <laughs> However, he could offer emotional support <laughs> and assistance by calling for help or finding someone who would assist to free Arthur TV's hand. It is important to prioritise the safety and well-being of individuals Individuals in such situations. Okay, I've got a better one. All right, okay, I'll give us one that we'll actually be able to get a response to. Uh, Arthur TV uh, meets Warwick Davis at McDonald's drive thru. That's a, to be fair, um, that's a good shout. Give me a second. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to fix something here. Uh, Where are we going with all of this? Well, what's what's the end goal I, I of just, these weird I wanted, stories? I just wanted to see what you could do with AI. For some reason, my. Um, I don't know what's going on. My uh, my OBS is being weird. Um, so I wanted to try and... I guess I'll just screen grab, grab them. Um, I was trying to figure out why my OBS just won't record now. Which is irritating. Mm. Let's screenshot the... I uh, just had a WhatsApp. It's, it's, it's just like a brand meeting. I just had a WhatsApp saying, your manager told me you're looking for some good gear. Oh, now we're <laughs> talking. <laughs> That's where you spend all the money on, don't you? Uh, yeah, like every other YouTuber. Gee, not me. I'm straight edge, mate. You spent, yeah. That's me. We've, we've seen your, we've seen your rivals. Ads are all addict. God, do you know that would actually probably help me. To be fair, actually, I probably shouldn't encourage that. I remember back in the day when I was a college YouTuber. That was like the that was like the G fuel when I was a college. What like a Adderall. hardcore fucking drug. P people people legitimately used to take Adderall to supposedly make them better at the game because they would just play it like to be good at it. You needed to play it like twenty three hours a day, and the only way to do that was Adderall, baby. <laughs> To be fair. And then G Fuel was like, there's a gap in the market here. <laughs> yeah. Them. Just fucking, just absolutely just coke these poor gamers out of their head. All right. What, what did you say we we're going to do for this one? This will be Arthur the, the TV last one. Warwick Davis <laughs> at a McDonald's drive thru. <laughs> um, and Warwick Davis bites off his fingers when he goes to pay for his meal. A fictional story of Arthur TV. <laughs> 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 Meeting Warwick. <laughs> Warwick. Warwick. Uh, wait, how do you War War Warwick? Warwick. War no, you had War it. He's had okay, it right yeah. so many times. What the fuck is going on, Warwick? <laughs> there we there go. you go. Is it Davies, Davies. or Davis? Uh, is is. Warwick Davis. Meeting. Uh, meet. It. Wait, hang on. A at at a McDonald's drive-through. At a McDonald's. I love AI. Drive through, yeah. But when but when Arthur goes to pay, Warwick Davis bites off his fingers. But Warwick, um, <laughs> bites off his fingers at the drive through. All right, which character do you want to be? 
Ali Warwick Davis. <laughs> Alpha <laughs> TV will be. Exactly. You're not TV allowed. To, you're not allowed to use your <laughs> goblin voice. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to do your best Warwick Davis impression. No, oh, no, it's too violent. Uh, I can fix this. Oh, TV. Oh, I God. wonder if okay. there's going to be a gap in the market for an What's AI a that's just unhinged. biting off someone's finger. Fuck off. Okay, um, I've Licks. got a better one. Kisses. Licks. Okay, okay yeah, that's fine. That's good. Yes! Arthur TV was oh driving uh, driving down the road when he decided to pull into a McDonald's drive thru to grab a quick bite to eat. As he placed his order, he noticed a familiar face in the car <laughs> next to him. My good old friend Warwick. <laughs> it was Warwick Davis, the actor he had seen in many movies and TV shows. Arthur couldn't believe his luck. He rolled down his window and called out to Warwick. <laughs> Yay, hey, Warwick, it's great to meet you. <laughs> Warwick turned and smiled, <laughs> recognizing the enthusiastic fan. Hey there! I'm the host of Tenable. Um, nice to meet you too. Alpha continued. Uh, I've always been a huge fan of your work. I loved you in the Harry Potter movies and the Star Wars films, especially Professor Flitwick. It is an honour to meet you. Warwick grinned, <laughs> flattered by the compliments. Thanks. Thanks. It's always it's always great to meet the fans. As they waited for their orders, Alfred decided to take a chance and ask Warwick for a picture. <laughs> Warwick's becoming more of a goblin in your impression, Lewis. Warwick was happy to oblige, and they took a quick selfie together. To be fair, he was a goblin in Harry Potter as well, wasn't he? He was. Uh, he was <laughs> true. The Gringot. It was the Gringot Bankman. When it was time for Arthur to pick up his food, Warwick leaned over and surprised him. What? By giving him a kiss on the back of his head. This is sort of. Thanks for being a, such a great fan. Applied Minecraft you Minecraft YouTubers meeting their fans kind of story. <laughs> Arthur blushed and smiled, feeling like he was on top of the world. He thanked Warwick for the picture and the unexpected kiss on his hand and the joke with a happy heart and a satisfied stomach. Oh my goodness, this is That's so great. weird. Arthur, I can't believe you met Warwick Davis. I know, this... this. Hey, by the way, I know someone's ever done it, but has someone actually banged a video on like doing this and selling it as like an Amazon book? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, loads of people. Yeah, yeah, loads of people have done it. It's like the most obvious YouTube video ever. <clears throat> but just me, or does that seem like an easy cash grab if you were to like just make a like become an author that just uses AI? It is, but getting someone to buy that crappy story suck. But you know the next this chat story GPT, is, is masterful fiction. The, the, I've read a lot of books and this is better than a lot of books. <laughs> you know the the next Chat GPT update that's coming out is whatever like. 3,000 times more powerful. It Jesus. wrote a 60,000 word novel in under a minute. That is insane. That's terrifying. So who, who made this? Is this another one of Elon Musk doing or something? I don't he know. He had some sort of role in it, yeah. But he, did he? Uh, oh, of, of course, course he did. did. He's got a bit of a reputation for sort of, you know, coming in at a later stage and then claiming uh, oh, he does ownership that, yeah. of stuff. So I don't actually know. Uh, he claims ownership of everything but his own child. Um, great. Um, Jesus Christ, that's fucking... you're getting banned on Twitter again. Yeah, that's that's you gone, mate. Well, I've got I've got Elon Musk blocked blocked on Twitter. He's oh, so we can't get you. That, he's the only person I've got blocked on Twitter. That is really? wild. That is that's surely going to make you an enemy of the alg algorithm straight away. But I don't use Twitter anyways. I just think he, oh, he's just a bit of a wet wipe, isn't he? I like, do like Twitter. Like, like. Sorry, it's not it's not even Elon Musk really. It's it's he, it's his fans. It's the fan, yeah, it's the fans. It's it's not even really him. It's just the fans. Like oh, Elon. Well, we mentioned you're so it great. on last week's podcast, like. Mr. Beast is always like, my favourite person in the world is Elon Musk. And it's like, bro, mm, fucking, yeah. like, find a role model who's actually, like, Yeah, I see Mr. Beast say that because he was talking about how, like, how all successful people have kids. And he said, it'd be nice to have a kid. It'd, nice to, it'd be nice to have a mini programmable me. I love you, Mr. Beast, but that is, like, the most robotic way I've ever That's the most Mr. Beast way of ha thinking of having a child ever. That's like the most Are we sure Mr. Beast is like an AI? Algorithm. <laughs> I don't know if Mr. Beast is real. I've watched him on podcasts, and I can't work out if he is any form of human emotion. But maybe He's one definitely going to have a That would be the biggest Beast. Mr. Beast video ever if they were like, by the way, I've we're actually... I've been programmed AI for the last five years. Yeah, this has been a project by like ITV or the BBC or something. I don't think ITV would launch a mass American food chain called Beast Burger, to be honest, but uh, it, would, <laughs> it would be a great twist. Um, I, I did notice something you said, Arthur, when you said that's something Minecraft stands would do. Um, have, have any of you actually had anything weird like that for a viewer? Because I had one. Well, it wasn't, they didn't ask me to kiss their hand, but they asked me if I could hold, so I can do it on camera because it actually makes sense, but they asked me if I could hold their hand for a picture like that. As in, like, oh. 
like that, hold my hand, like fucking clasped him, and Alex there was just like, no, and they went, why not? And I needed to think of like a long answer without hurting their feelings. <laughs> and I went, you're fucking you disgusting said, looking, you ugly freak. I had a little think, and I went, I don't think it's good for my brand. <laughs> That's so formal. That's what I said. But I was, I was like, I'm not fucking holding your hand for a, for a picture. Like it's just weird. Yeah, I think I'm too socially awkward for anyone to try Have any I... kind of social interaction that's not just standing there for a photo. Have I never told you about? Oh, mate, I have like one that was crazy. Before you go on that, that was the same day that Arthur TV asked me for a photo. Yeah, let's go. Right, Wait, Arthur was that for like VidCon years ago? I like, asked you for a photo. He yeah, did, I and that. then he went in. I remember, I remember it very well because he went in for a handshake, and our hands completely missed as well. Oh, don't! What? <laughs> Great! I'm now not sleeping tonight. Look at where you are now, know. though, boys. Yeah, I true. Know. On an Internet Sensation podcast. Wow. On the return for the third time wow. for the third relaunch of this podcast. You and guys I'm pretty back. sure when Alpha came came up to me as well, I was standing next to the girl who goes Mary Chrysler. <laughs> no way. <laughs> and Callum's corner. Yeah, that would have been one. What a motley crew. Callum's Corner the used to be a big fan of my edition. videos when I was like really small on YouTube, weirdly. He'd always comment like, great video. I'd be like, oh, that's very nice of you. Callum's that's a nice Callum's man. Corner. Like, Callum Corner, Callum's Corner is one of the UK OGs, so man. Yeah, the UK so OG. Sweet. But I have a, a really crazy story. When I went to VidCon US for the first time, I was about, I think I just turned like 19. And I flew there like by myself because um, I didn't like at the time, like my mates had already flown out a week earlier to go to E3 in San Diego. So I, I get there and I'm like, All right, I'll meet everybody at the convention center. So I walk down to the Anaheim convention center where VidCon is hosted. And when I get there, there's like this girl with like this huge banner. And it says, I'm Alex. Will you go to prom with me? Right. How old were you at this time? Sorry, I was nineteen. Okay. I don't What's know prom? How, I don't know how Prom's old eighteen, you... isn't it? it uh, no. Yeah. Is it for Americans? For Americans isn't it? it might be. I think it's like the last thing you do before you go after uni. Yeah, it's, it's eighteen in Scotland too. Oh, I, I did my prom when I was like sixteen. Yeah, England. Oh, weird. Oh, okay, mate. I've, right. Okay. All right. Continue with the story. Anyway. anyway. Um. <laughs> The weirdest thing was, right, is like, so they come up to me and they go, and she hands me a card. And she goes like, this is a formal in invite, like, to prom. And I'm like, ah, that's funny. Like, you know, I, pre like, I appreciate that. And then she goes, no. No, I mean it. Oh, my like, goodness. And then she goes, here's my mum. And her mum comes <laughs> over and goes, we'll pay for it. We'll pay for everything. You can stay at ours. Um, you can stay for the entire week. Stay um, at ours. I, I have never met these people they, in my life. Are they, are they American as well? Yes. That's odd. Do you think they would have like got you to like stay in the bedroom with the daughter? I, like, was it? Uh, was the mum giving you like? I don't know what the plan was. I don't know what they were trying to trying to do. How was it She's an Alex fan. <laughs> do, you think, do, you think, do you think she's watching this episode right now? Probably, Probably. not. Not anymore. I don't think so. No, I think she probably would have got help by then. <laughs> I'd like to guess. I'd like to guess. That's kind of, kind of very How cute. How crazy. Okay, it was, it's kind of adorable. Like, shoot your shot, I guess. But like, big, like, I turned up to pick up a like, huge banner, man, like, huge banner. Like, and I was so confused. And then, like, the mum was just like, w but then the thing is, right, they say that and then they, like, really seriously, like, proposition me. Uh, and I was like, this is weird. Like, she's basically asking me to, like, like get with her daughter. Like, what the fuck is going on? This is really odd. And they were like, oh, and they're like, you can come to our hotel room today. Like, if you're like, I don't know where you're staying around, like, around VidCon and everything. And I was like, I, I'm i like, number one, That's a, 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 a mother daughter relationship like that is like something out of a horror film. You know? That's yeah, surely That's... the mother. That's when you need to step in and, like, send her away to a shrink or something. The mom was yeah. the one pushing. Exactly. That's maybe the I mean. mum really like. Maybe the mum watches the videos with her and is like, "I feel like this is Alex as a stand-up kind of guy. You know, he's got his head on his shoulders. Seems nice. This is the perfect person for my daughter." Nobody gets that watching my videos. I'm trying to think of just some sort of light some side. Some reason. Some, some weird. This sounds like some 
This co- oh no, it's just it's too. Weird. Maybe the mum likes me. Yeah, Maybe. that's what I'm thinking. Exactly. Was she? Was she? Was the mum kind of? Was she involved? Um, no, was she cute? Hot? Was she hot? Uh, from what I remember, they were no. <laughs> oh, Alex, you can't. You could not particularly oh. not your type is what you're trying to say. Oh. Which is fine. <laughs> but I, uh, oh. I try to remember how I got out of this situation. I remember I was surrounded by like at least 20 people at this point because I was doing like a meet and greet. <clears throat> but they were like, every time, every time like I would turn around and speak to somebody else, they'd tap me on the shoulder and be like, so are you going to go? And I'd be like, I can't like, I got like work and I've got to go back to the England. And I, back to the England. <laughs> Do you know how soon it was? Uh, it was within like two months, I think. So they wanted me to. They wanted me to fly. They were going to pay for me to fly back out. Meet the family. <laughs> I would have stayed. Who knows what like, could have happened? Could you imagine then? if I'd have said yes? Like, yeah, I mean, number one, really... I would never do that anyway because, like, to fucking get with a fan. There's a Mr. Beast agree. video in that. What? I. I took a thousand fans to prom. <laughs> It's a very, and I had sex I mean, with made them blind. I think that would also be the last Mr. Beast video before he gets sent to jail. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think they'd lock him away. Um, How bizarre. Yeah, that was the strange... I think that might be the strangest, like, fan experience I've ever had, where I was just, yeah, like, that's, genuinely that's creepy perplexed. but awesome. Yeah, but, like, they came back every day of that VidCon four days in a row and, like, would ask me the same question, like, at least eight to ten times every day. And I just kept on, like powering them off being like I'll t- uh, be like I'll check my ca- calendar I'll check my schedule because I don't want to be rude like um like they kept on buying me like lunch and stuff and like bringing it to me while I was doing my meet and greet but like, I wouldn't eat any of it though because like I know better than that that's something we could talk about what's how many up? people here Spaking people how many people here have eaten something that they've been given at a meet and greet you vastly overestimate how famous we are Alex <laughs> no it's fucking stunned met fans you have none, Arthur. Yeah, I know. No. I'm joking. You clearly have loads. Like, if you read the I'll comments, s- you've got tons, mate. I did have a thing. Where I, I need to start to doing reaction videos which... like these so I can get involved and join the community a bit more. Yes, you can get me my, asked my main prom. channel Do, videos. Do you get recognised a lot, Arthur, when you leave those? Uh, a fair amount, yeah. I think I'd say, I mean, in London, obviously, it's, that's so it's quite a lot. But then it's. I think that's mostly just from collabs rather than my own channel, like, you know. Being on a couple of Chris videos means that like most guys who like football will recognise. Yeah, what's I'm your, so what's your target fucking... audience? Yeah, mine. Go on. Yeah, who normally comes up to you in the street and goes, "All right, mate, go a picture." Uh, I, I I would say it's kind of if it's a girl my own age, which is about half of them, I'll know it's from my channel. If it's a road man, I'll know they're from Locked In or they're a Joke Man fan or something. And if they're just like a you know, just a typical football fan, sort of like 16 to 25. I'll be like, you're from, you know, Chris, Freezy or Chip or something like that. Mm-hmm. So I can kind of instantly tell when they go, you're Arthur. And if like, I know from... If I, they're I, a legend, I can, like, right? Yeah. Oh, they're, su- yeah. they're subscribed to this podcast. Well, I, I imagine you guys will have a fairly similar overlap with the my main channel stuff because that's kind of like reality TV. That's like it's most of people our age. Yeah, mainly. Yeah, I, I can tell like, within the airline, the come dine with me stuff, like all of that stuff, and you'd be surprised. There are not any fans. There are quite a lot of guys that do it. If it's a bloke, it's e boys always. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I can tell before someone even says hi to me if it's YouTube or if it's TikTok. If it's a younger ghetto, it's YouTube. But if it's if it's just a regular normal person, not that young girls aren't normal people. If it's like <laughs> just someone ever, <laughs> like just like if it's someone just ever age. If it's an ordinary human being and not one of you, lot if it's someone, if it's someone ever age, it looks like just your regular person. It's always fucking. T- uh, it's it's always a TikTok as well. Like I literally, I, I'm so over it now. Like literally, like two days ago, I walked to a shop and someone just screamed to a friend. That's a TikTok guy, and I had just went, "Please do not call me that," and just kept walking. <laughs> right, Actually, I, that's I that's, that's, that. that's the la- that's the final category. That's if it's a child, it's from TikTok. It's rare, but I was walking through London the other day, and this very young child was just on his bike. I'm pretty sure I told this on one of the videos we did recently, and he just goes. Arthur, Arthur, how's the potatoes from that like roasted potatoes TikTok? And I was like, What is the the roasting potatoes TikTok? I did a TikTok with Joke Man where I was like, Oh, the next step is roast the potatoes. And Joke Man goes, Oh, your mum. And that's literally the TikTok. But it got like 10 mil views, and most of them were from the UK. 
and I've had like several children. <laughs> oh, I two, didn't realize. Well, two I, or three. I've, I've been making a mistake. I should have been telling everybody that when we did this podcast that I, I'm co-hosting it with the roasting potatoes TikTok man <laughs> and uh, the pronouns yeah, my... guy. The oh, pronoun. Fucking... Oh, the pronoun. See when, see when I had pink hair, it was all the fucking time because people would not recognize. Like when you get recognized, people kind of have to double look at you. But see when you've got pink hair, know. people see you from a hundred meters away and then yeah. come up to you and they they'll literally always say, "Oh, sorry, man, I just seen you. I was over there." And they'll yeah, point and I, yeah, I've just spotted you. <laughs> I when well, I used to have rainbow dyed hair, it'd be the exact same. Like people would be able to spot me from a fucking like no matter where I was. It was that, or if you've got like a really iconic piece of clothing that you wear in like every video that can only be yours. Like when I wear that. That rainbow uh, LV jumper, like it's just finished for me, because everybody. I weirdly, yeah. I, I think because I've got quite a weird voice. That's one quite, <laughs> quite a lot of people clocked me for. I was in Wagamama the other day, <laughs> and one of the servers who wasn't on my table came up to me and was like, "This is really weird, but like, you're a YouTuber, right?" And I was like, "Yeah." And he was like, "I hear your voice coming from my girlfriend's bedroom all the time." And I was <laughs> like, she, "Oh, yeah, the best thing is you should have That's not a YouTube yeah, video, man. Watch one of your YouTube videos, <laughs> yeah. right?" And, I'm and he was shagging actually, your girlfriend. He was like, the she, funniest uh, response she, to that would she be watches like, your videos while YouTube she's videos. getting ready for nights out and stuff. I don't make YouTube videos. That actually would have been a great response. Yeah. No. <laughs> be um, I, my, my favorite thing is, though, when you do get recognized by someone who's like not your demographic. Like, literally, I went to a football game last week and the, the, the fucking like steward that pats you down and checks your ticket. Must have been, I don't know how old he was, but he, he was bald and a full beard and it fucking looked like Kratos. And he was just like, oh, Louis Buck and I watch your videos. And I was like, oh, cheers. Uh, when people say that, I don't know why, even when people say I watch your videos, I still somehow doubt that they do. And then they commented <laughs> on my video the next day and went, nice to meet you last night, mate. It didn't know how they've got the little subscriber bars next to their name. Oh. It said five years. And I was like, oh, oh he wow. is an actual, like, OG. And oh, that's that sweet. Quite, that did make me quite happy because then I was like, oh, like... The amount of times that I get girls go, oh, I've been watching you since I had 2K subs. It's like, well, no, I had I made Call of Duty videos till I had 10K subs, so no, you did not. Uh, <laughs> no, yeah, did I've, not. I've, I've only been doing, obviously, YouTube for like three years, and sometimes I'll get people commenting like, been a big fan for like six or seven years now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, that's not how time mate, works, mate. Just that, yeah, I haven't been around anywhere near that long. I used to watch you back in the day, like 10 years ago. It's like, <laughs> you can't just say like, you know, watch my videos oh, now. I've been it's... five then. <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah, I would have been a young boy, a young little boy. Mm. Um, so I've well. got, I found um, this page that posts like weird confessions. Um, face hole. Is it yeah, face hole? It is. That is fantastic. Uh, I saw one today that I wanted to read to you guys, and I wanted to I wanted to ask you guys: Do you think that this is acceptable behaviour, um, or do you think this is strange? Okay. Yeah, go on. Uh, All right. Hit us with it. I've been subscribed to my mum's OnlyFans for the past eighteen months. I don't watch. I'm not sick. But my mum has been struggling financially for the past two years and has never accepted any help or money from me. So instead, I have free only found <laughs> I have free only fans accounts and they're all subscribed. Why three? Why more not money? just one on a higher tier? Isn't that how only fans work? I don't think no, you. <laughs> Is that how only fans works? All right, Arthur, mate. It's not fucking Patreon. Surely you can be like. Oh, I would have thought it'd be like Patreon, where you can just put in the amount you want to sponsor them for monthly. Uh no, it's just uh, you can it like they have some form of So you get a zoo. monthly subscription, but then you get uh, uh you get P PTVs, which is like uh, that's what Tana Mojo had, but it's like free to subscribe, but you have to pay for a video. I only know this guy to do it for a video, and I had to pay yeah. fifty quid for a fucking vlog. Was it good? No, <laughs> it was just it was just like her and Riley Reid just like washing our car. I and mean, I I I pay for that. I would pay a lot for yeah. that. Um, all right, do you think that's acceptable behaviour? Do you think so? Do you, or do you think that? I they, mean, he's supporting his mum. It's mom. weirdly quite wholesome. It's weirdly, it's weirdly but it's wholesome. like. I do you believe know. he doesn't look? Uh, you, uh, I, 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 <laughs> if he's got it, it's such accounts, a horrible scenario surely either just way. Free accounts. Surely he's just made free accounts, subscribed, and then just left it. What about, the, what, what about the morbid? Can he not, what about can the he not find curiosity? anything better? Can he not just hit up his landlord and be like, by the way, can you just reduce the rent by 100 quid a month and I'll send you the extra 100 or like just restock the fridge every now and then? Why do you have to pay for the OnlyFans? Do you and think... OnlyFans the... take a cut as well, so what's... I think you'd have to because it's like, it's like curiosity gets the better of you all the time. Yeah, so it's do like, you reckon he Even looks? when you see... 
even when you see there's something that you shouldn't see, you will look for a zero point one seconds. Yeah, would you? And would I, you I, look? I wouldn't look at my own. No, but I feel like I feel like this you is clinically would. insane, chat. I feel like it's so hard unless you go cockeyed and make yourself like see bloody vision. I think I think you would actually. You can't miss it. Is what you're saying. Or two. Yeah, yeah. Especially if the knockers like them. Not not my mum. Not my mum. <laughs> nice. Her mum. Her mum. Her mum. Yeah. Uh, his mum. His mum. Or her. I don't know. Or they. Uh, That's another thing. Wait. Did they say whether they were male or female? I don't know if this is like. No, I not don't very think, I don't think they me, do. I feel like it would be less weird, weird if for you're a woman. girl to be yeah. paying their mum's only fans. I don't know if that's. I don't know. Yeah. I, I feel like we. We buy a raised Alex, if that's the right term, according to the comments on the last video. You did do that. Yeah, judging by the Milf Manor video we did on Cam's channel, I feel like this is Alex's confession. This is not oh, my yeah. confession. I just wanted to read you it sure? out. Um, <laughs> we're gonna go. We're gonna go on a quick uh, break, um, and then we're gonna come Are back we? on the break with more stuff. Yeah, I need to. Uh, I want to go to the toilet. Oh, fair enough. Well, can you, you bring can the camera? Oh, Wait, I'll what? just go. I, no, I'm not bringing my fucking camera with me, Arthur. Why not? I, all right, you guys. Yeah, can we get a toilet? Cam? You, all right, I'm gonna let you guys read. Uh, you guys can read some stuff from here if you want, uh, or talk about whatever you want. Do what you want. It's your podcast now. I'm trusting oh, okay. you, Arthur. What yeah. the fuck are you doing? Why are you eating a square? Oh, okay. I'm about to hand the reins over to you, and you're just fucking started eating a square. Oh wait. Oh wait. The podcast I continues. Carry on. You guys carry on. I thought. Was... You guys carry on. All right. Yeah. yeah well, I am carrying on. I am carrying oh. on. I'm trusting you. You wanted us to read something, no? Do what you want. Do what you want now. It's in your hands. Right, okay. How how uh, about we how about we let let's talk about something uh, interesting, look Lewis. At that. What what do you think look I'm at? That bulge. What do you okay. stop? What do you think in, internet sensation followers and viewers and listeners would want to talk about this week? What's what's been big in the news? Mm, that probably maybe... stuff like Alex, them toes, them stinky little toes. Oh, fascinating. What do you think he's hair? Probably needs a haircut. Hairline as well. Probably needs a bit sorted. Well, given we're, given we're on AI, what are your thoughts on AI stuff in general? I think it's terrifying. I think it's going to be like, um, I feel like AI is literally going to ruin, how many crime scenes and stuff is going to be ruined by AI because it's like, oh, you can't, or like even falsely imprisonment. Oh, like, yeah. Imagine you're like, because let's say you caught a video of me shooting a baby in the head. Right. I could say, even if I did it or didn't do it, if there's a video of me d doing it, it's hard to be like, that's not me, that's fucking AI. And you know they've got like someone, huh? You know they've got like really bad ability to like draw fingers. Have you seen this? Like babies, you... <laughs> them too. I've never seen a baby draw a hand well, but AI has like AI really struggles with like drawing hands, like with the correct number of fingers. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, so as a result, criminals are now wearing like prosthetic bonus fingers, so that when there's like a picture of them in the crime or, or on video, they'll be like. This is AI generated. It's got six or seven fingers in it. Isn't that really interesting? That is mad interesting. Yeah. Yeah, because that's I need like all there's some fake fingers on Amazon. Yeah. Wait, what kind of crimes are you committing? Um, what crime would I commit? Um, I don't know if I've got like I feel like if I was a criminal, I feel like I'd probably break into someone's house, go to rob something, and then feel too bad and I'd put it back. Wow. Interesting. I Depends how nice I've got, the thing I've got was. Quite a guilty conscience. I've got quite a guilty conscience. I feel like I would. If I was already um, there and I'd gotten to the point where I was like, I have to rob this house, you know, I, I needed the money and there was like a PS5 in my hands, I don't think my conscience would be like, put this down. Nah, bro, I've got mad guilty conscience. I remember one time when I worked for Domino's and... You worked for Gitto, Domino's? Yeah, oh. and I get all wanted a pizza, obviously, <laughs> and ordered <laughs> one, and it was cash. Very, very rarely do they order in cash. It's always paid online, but very rarely is it cash. And then um, it was 20 quid. And then she gave me the 20 quid. I walked back to my car. And then when I sat down in my car seat, I noticed that she gave me two 20 quids that were stuck together. So it was No way. Quid. So she didn't know that. And my work wouldn't have known that in fact if I just pocketed that extra twenty quid. Because they do count up your cash at the end of the shift. No way. Um so I was like, Yeah, they count up your cash, but I got this extra twenty quid. So I was like, I bro I was so fucking broke. I'd be so broke. I, I lost my phone in the snow because it's when we were having that beast from the east or whatever it was called. <laughs> I lost I, I had lost my phone and I was playing my music out of an iPad mini, like in my car. That's how broke I was. All I had was an iPad. 
Oh, to that's be fair, a really that's very, word problem. That's, yeah, that's, that's a broken problem. All I had was an iPad. Uh, yeah. I mean, I was communicating with everyone through a fucking iPad. Um, so, and then... Um, Struggles. Bro, it was awful. I remember my car broke down and I couldn't phone anyone because oh, I didn't have my phone. Oh, no. And, and I had the chap on the person who I just delivered pizza to and was like, oh, sorry, man, I fucking broke down. But getting to the point, I had two 20 quids. I could have pocketed the extra 20 quid note and they could have never noticed. My work would have noticed, you wouldn't have noticed. I had, I think, I remember on my way to the shift, I put in petrol in my car, went to pay for the petrol and she was like, oh, your car's been declined. And I couldn't say, let me look at my online banking, because I had no phone. Aww. So I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, but I'm on my way to work. Can I, is there something we can do? And she was like, yeah, um, let me just take down your details, whatnot. And then I then go to work. This happens. So then I'm like, oh, okay, I've got, I could easily pocket this and keep some money. But then I was like, all right, I've had some bad karma lately. And I want some good karma. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to do it. I was like, I'm going to go back. I'm going to give her the 20 quid back. And she's going to be so happy. She's going to be so happy. Over the moon. She might even be like, oh, since you're so nice, here's a tip. And I was like, okay, good karma coming my way. So then I went back and I gave her the 20 quid. She did not give a fuck. She went, oh, okay, cool. Took it back. Aww. And then closed the door to me. And then two days later, me and my girlfriend at the time broke up. So karma, good karma did not come my way. <laughs> uh, my car broke down and I couldn't pay that petrol station 15 quid. And to this day... To this day, to this day, I still own a petrol station in Durham, 15 quid. No, oh no. I actually... I never, it, it's just never paid it since. It's a weird one. I feel like I'm quite a, like... I don't tend to really believe in anything unless I feel like I've got <laughs> overwhelming evidence. So, like, you know, not particularly religious or spiritual or anything like that. But for some reason, karma is always in the back of my mind. Like, the number of times I'm like you know what, I'm just randomly just going to do this nice thing because, you know, maybe karma. And I can never get myself to do anything bad because I always <laughs> think, like, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'll end up being punished for this. Well, the last Even though nice I don't believe did. in any system that would, like, you know, cause that I consequence. Reading, I was it's so reading weird. about that last night. I've got a whole book on philosophy that I'm reading right now and no one way. of the chap- current chapters is karma. What's wow. the last yeah. nice thing you did for someone, Arthur? The last nice, I was actually at um, a similar kind of one to that, but the other way around. I was at like a, one of those like burger cafes and the guy was just really, really busy, like seemed really stressed out and he gave me too much change. And I went back and when I think I went to like, be like, oh, excuse me. He was like, for fuck's sake. So what do you, you know, are you going to try and get, did I forget your onions or something? And I was like, oh mate, you gave me too much change and gave him the money back. And he literally like, it It, it was like it made his day. It was like everyone, the most wholesome thing ever. everyone clapped. They all went, yeah. <laughs> I mean, and, and, it, it was like went, it was like three quid. It wasn't that deep. On, you're on. What did you? What did you do? <laughs> but he was just like, honestly, what thank you so you much, do? mate. And I was like, oh, that's so sweet. Um, but nothing good has happened to me since. Or I haven't done ever, anything. So, um, you know. I haven't done anything nice for anyone. Have you not? No, not ever. If you had to commit a crime, Alex, what crime would you commit? We, we that's what we talked about when you were away. We talked about if we were to commit a crime, and that's how we came on to karma. I was saying I don't think I could. I said I'd probably break into someone's house and regret it. And I think if back. I was to commit a crime, it would be like, am I allowed to get away with it? Uh, it depends yes. on what it is. Like you can't shoot up an airport. I'm reserving my judgment. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no domestic different. terrorism. No children. Okay. Now what would you say? Uh, it's both my options out the window. No! <laughs> um, so, um, tax fraud. Yeah, tax fraud yeah, would be not such a my great ta- one. Not, not, yeah, tax fraud would be like really practical. Yeah, it would be. That would be a good one. Like, I I think that one would be fucking class. You know, I'd just be like everybody else we know. Mm, yeah. This is classic YouTubers, what they like, eh? They're criminals. <laughs> um so moving moving on um wait do you have your business uh, offer do you have your business set up in let's not talk about this on the podcast yeah let's move on let's, let's not, not like let's ta- not to tax, tax evasion is not the best yeah exactly yeah yeah nobody in, nobody, Which on one's podcast, one? nobody on this yeah, podcast nobody on this podcast does any form of um does any illegal activity no i pay my fair share of taxes comic um. You know, you, I, f- I feel like a, a, if, if I don't pay my taxes properly one year and like do these tax avoidance schemes, I'm going to hit a pothole and then I'm going to swerve yeah, I'll get through and, and I'll die get in a fire deeds. and then just be like, you know what? That pothole would have been fixed if I'd paid my taxes and I would never forgive myself. So I just do it anyway. 
Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no. All right, let's my taxes that. have also been quite kind to me, but that's because I also don't earn that much. <laughs> <laughs> You're bright. So my right. taxes have always been quite kind to me, actually. Yeah, uh, I wish I could uh, say the same, but I'm a, I'm a rich man. Ta- uh, tax enemy is public enemy number one. I'm, I'm, I do, I'm, I'm I do a remember of the walking into, I do remember walking into a YouTuber's flat once, and I just went, "Oh, how are you?" He went. I was going to do a voice, but then I just gave it away. So I won't do a voice. I'll do a really Scottish voice. He went, I've just paid 95 grand in tax. How do you think I'm feeling? And I was like, all right, cool. Are they somebody I know? Yeah. Do I know them well? All right, let's move on. Uh, <laughs> I, think I, know. I think I know who that is. Um, based on the earnings, I think. Um, all right, so... Um, we have uh, we have reached one of I, I was going to say victims of the channel, but they're not. They're somebody we love. Um, we have we've reached Wendy Wildhog. Yeah, we've reached, we've reached, we love we have, Wendy. We reached, uh, no, we have reached Paul um, Breach. I was debating talking her. about. I was de- I was debating breaching Paul, um, but uh, mm. that would be two podcasts back to back. Um, but uh, we might talk about that in a bit anyway. Bro, I'm deadly serious, right? He was and I. Uh, he was in a Weatherspoons 20 minutes away from me. If I wasn't in bed, I would have went. Like, 100%. How do you reckon that goes down, though? Do you think uh, he's watched the videos we've made on him? Yes. I don't think he's watched them, but I think he knows them, yeah. I feel like there's a certain level of narcissism But the thing is, Paul's, Paul's also a boomer, and... right? Paul's also a boomer, right? And he probably thinks 500k on YouTube is the exact same as 500k on TikTok. Do you know what I mean? So he probably thinks he probably thinks it's not, It's like, irrelevant, yeah. Yeah, he probably thinks it's the exact same. Um, he doesn't understand that we're. He doesn't understand we're fucking massive guys. He doesn't I, understand I don't, I don't that think... we're 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 big time over here on the YouTube scene. <laughs> I don't think he knows who I am. So I think if we did if we did meet, it'd be a friendly. You know, maybe we can have a little drinky poo. Oh, he doesn't. He's gonna drink. fucking. He hasn't he's me gonna yet, call so... the police on you if he ever sees you, Lewis Bucken. You gotta be crazy if you think otherwise. He calls the police on kids. He just go, oh, it's Paul Breach. You have basically been a part of a harassment campaign. I think I think he would hate you. No, okay, let's move on. Let's talk about the nice would. stuff with Wendy Wildhog. No, no, no. I want to talk about this now because I was no, going to mention, mention this. I, there's no way if any of me and you ever run into Paul Breach that it is going to be a positive experience. It's going to be either at best it'll, uncomfortable. It'll be positive for me. Yeah, I would enjoy it. He's going to hate it. I think he hates any interaction with anyone. Apart from teenage girls, <laughs> you've, you've seen no. you've seen his smile when a girl asks for a photo compared to when a guy does. <laughs> I've seen that TikTok. Yeah, mate, yeah, that is one of my favorite things about him is the comparison of him walking down the street and then like he when, does the Kubrick and, stare. Because what what people can do is people can find the videos in the exact same street of like if you go from his Instagram tags, you can see everybody in a line who met him at the same like in the same fifteen minute span. So it's mm-hmm. like. And Alex, she... that is advanced stalking. <laughs> no, no, because what happens was is on the TikTok for you page, I get like, I swear I'm not stalking this man for the love of God. I get like, what will happen is I'll get one video of like women meeting him and then I'll scroll one video and the next video will be a bunch of blokes meeting him and he looks miserable. And then I'll scroll again. And this was when it was like at its peak. This was like about a month and a half ago, two months ago. And I got about four videos back to back, and it's literally like women happy, men angry, women happy, men angry, like actually crazy, just like how, how kind of just much he hates anybody who isn't like a young teenage girl asking for a picture. I can't lie, ninety percent of the reason I want to see him is just so I can see what height he is. For some reason in my head, he's a four foot eight goblin. I mean, he's definitely something. <laughs> Um, I don't really know what he is to be honest. Uh, you know what? If I see him in person, I've I'll heard gi- I'll he's give five him a nine. I'll give him a trinket. A trinket? Yeah, see yeah. what he does with it. He'd love that. He's been <laughs> on his adventure looking for one, I think. So, uh, but when, when Wendy UK Wildhog too. took the video well. Uh, she seemed to find it quite funny. Um, which was, that was uh, so which sweet. Was the little photo of her, like, the video of it, like, at panning work. from the video to her just... Oh, it was at work. At work. I thought that was her daughter being like, my mum's famous. Well, she said... Uh, she I think it might have been both. No, but she didn't. She, 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 she did tag her. her. But, but some people Wendy, do that. If I was Wendy Wildhog's daughter, I would also call her Wendy Wildhog. I would call yeah. Her <laughs> yeah. I'd call her by that. What if you name. were Paul Breach's son? I wouldn't be allowed. I'd call him daddy still. 
Oh, what? What? What the fuck? <laughs> All right, well, let's move on uh, to the final thing that I had written down. I've got two things. No, shout actually. out Wendy Wildhub, though, because that, that video her. was jokes. We were saying she was, and she, she was she great, great, great entertainment, it. and we were, we are generally big fans. Um, yeah, never stop hoyaing. Never, ever. Love Island star Kaz Crossley arrested. I saw Face, this. Faces month, months in Dubai prison and a £20,000 uh, fine for breaking the United Arab Emirates strict drug laws. The influencer is thrown in jail over a video where she snorted white powder on trip to a golf party during lockdown. Lo- no, not only did she With do it lockdown. during lockdown, um, but she did cocaine in a country where it's like horrifically illegal. Um, it's and then, so dumb. being the smart woman she is, being the clever influencer, she decided, oh, yes, there's this video circulating of me committing a crime in, in, in an area that isn't so necessarily nice to people who commit crimes. I'm going to step foot back there on one of my lovely little Love Island holidays that I go on that these people forever go on. <laughs> I don't understand, right? I've got, I've got a few issues to pick with these people. Number one, <laughs> what money are you making where you can go on all these fucking holidays? I don't understand. How are you fucking doing that? You you Have don't you not do seen anything. The Dubai Porta Potty? Oh, Is that dear. what you think's going on? Dubai Porta Potty. Um me uh, I don't I don't know to be fair, but so you can never rule it out with uh, influencers, but also I'm they gonna do disagree make with you. So I don't, much like, from Love Island these days. Like so many of these gammon heads and so many people are going, I can't believe you did this in Dubai. It's like don't pretend that you don't sniff cocaine whilst your kids are in the living room. Shut up, Gary. Uh, okay, your kids being in the no, living room that's is, very, I mean, is very different, though, to doing it in a country where they might fucking take off, like, some of your fingers. Yeah, but she probably didn't know that. Let's be honest. What, is she stupid? I think you is would she? know that. Is she yeah, stupid? That's, Are you calling her stupid? Calling her. You calling well, you're calling her stupid. I am calling her stupid. She is stupid. I'm calling her naive. She's an idiot. No, not naive, man. Like, you know, you can't even be fucking gay over there, let alone do a line. Like, I, I don't understand. I don't understand what... Uh, like, surely you know the punishment is going to be served. Oh, it's just, insane. I don't know why you'd risk it. I just don't know why you'd risk it. Because these people live in a world where they are the centre of attention and they, and, they don't, and they don't believe that they could do anything wrong, I assume. I, that's what I, I believe, personally. I don't know this Probably woman at all. I don't even know this fucking woman is. I'm not going to lie to you. I just know that she was on Love Island and she's an idiot. No, that... You know what? That I... I I'm not going to sit here and say she's an idiot. People make mistakes. I think what the true problem is, people that, like, fucking her friend who records her and then plasts it and sells it to the sun for a couple grand. I, that's so scummy, man. Yeah, that's the oh, thing with yeah, these people. They're, all, they're low lives. They're such fucking losers. And also, like, yeah, selling something to, to the sun about a Love Islander who I'd never even heard of before uh, about, like, doing cocaine in a place where, like, it's massively, obviously, clearly frowned upon. They are literally arrested her. <laughs> <laughs> for coming back she must have known surely like after that video got leaked i'd be personally thinking yeah maybe i go back to the united arab emirates anytime soon yeah never gonna touch my foot there again but I can't help it man. like uh, aside from mask. what happened obviously it is mate i feel so bad for her like even how much <laughs> okay, you want to yes, say it's bad that she was, was like, arrested it's terrifying can you imagine sitting there going like i'm genuinely going to be jailed for years well, no, because I wouldn't do something as stupid as this. Yeah, I wouldn't. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't get it. I've heard of like, I don't know how much they believe it. We had this girl come to our school once and she basically was like, she was in Thailand. And obviously they have like a, they, they fucking hate tourists that come to their country, party, bring and do illegal drugs and ruin the, you know, they absolutely hate it. I um, hate Lewis Buckingham. Government cracking down hard on it. And she essentially was at a party, or so she claims, got past drugs, was like, oh, no, I'm all right, thanks. I was like, you know, I'm passing this on. Turned around and there was like a police officer there. And so she turned around with like a bag of drugs. And she don't, was like, I hadn't done any. Don't play past the parcel with a, with, a, with a bag of I cocaine, know. guys. But she, um... but she got jailed for like 20 years or something. Like she spent like the majority of her prime years, like 20 to 40 in this like shithole cell. Yeah, like, Thai prisons are not nice. Awful. There's they a good, there's, there's actually a sick like series. In one once. There's like a, really, a sick yeah, series cool about series. it called like Banged Up Abroad or like Trouble in Thailand and yeah, stuff True like Jordy that. Yeah, True Jordy did a podcast with someone who was in like a, 
Um, he was in a Thai prison for 20 years and it was quite interesting. I just, I, I don't get why you'd go but, um, to these places and commit crimes. Like, Well, the thing is, bro, it's like, it's also at the same time. Do you know like, why? Because they're English, mate. Out. They're English and they don't for give a fuck girl, about anyone else. I, I, to be I fair, you could be drunk and be I like, oh no, I might think that girl from Love Island, I do not believe that she rolled it up into a ball and stuck it up her ass and boarded the flight. She probably met someone who lived in Dubai who had it and was like, look, do you want a line? Do you know how much money it is to buy drugs in, D- in Dubai? It's like 490 quid for a gram, apparently. How, that's such an oddly specific, accurate number. I read that it. I read, it. I, I read it on Twitter. <laughs> that makes it's exact. It's exact <laughs> I just same fucking with, uh, swear to God, I read it on Twitter. <laughs> it's pretty much the exact same price in Australia because... It's hard to get over there. Yes. Um, well, so the thing is, right, you know, I, I I appreciate you giving her a lot of, uh, you know, it's bad what happened. Being arrested for doing a cocaine, I mean, it is against the law, but, you know, for the amount of time that, what, 20 years they were going to put her in for or whatever. Is she's that, already, it, I think how, they've, already, they've, she's... Already, they've already let her go, I think, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah, from what I've been told, they've already, well, from what I've seen, I've been told. I don't From care. what I've been told. <laughs> I'm on, fa- I'm on the phone with the United Arab Emirates right now. Yeah, exactly. Let, my, let, our, let our favorite Love Islander go. <laughs> Should um, we go to Dubai? I'd never go. That's a Mr. Beast video. I'd never go to Dubai. Let's see how long it takes us to get arrested and get our fingers chopped off in Dubai. Yeah, that would be I'd, a cracking I'd, video. I'd, I'd, quite, I'd, be, I'd be very interested to go. I've been I, off, I, I was big... offered mid-lockdown. I was offered um, a, a large sum of money to go to Dubai peak Lockdown, and I said no. Mm. Imagine you in Dubai with Wayne Lineker. <laughs> Genuinely, is he? I got, I got a, a one for Turkey. I got someone <laughs> like Turkey, an email being a... like, "We'll pay for you to get teeth, hairline, all this kind of stuff, and we'll pay you if you do a YouTube video about it." Pass it on. And I was like, I was like, eh, maybe in like ten years, but I was like, it was really weird timing. <laughs> Is that what you responded? I was, maybe in ten years or so. I was like, wait for me to at least finish puberty before you start throwing these things at me to, to deal with aging. And it was all like, you know, anti wrinkle Botox injections. I knew you were supposed to get them before. That, you that explains why, wrinkles, you, why but... you look so young. Yeah, I, and then I went. <laughs> and then he went. So um, that's, yeah. The thing is, right? She Moved also like she went to Dubai. At the peak of COVID nineteen restrictions in the UK, and claimed that she was there for work, then gets caught doing a fucking line of cocaine, and then decides to like go. That's work for Love Islanders. I guess. Yeah, so. that's kind of true. If she's partying. Yeah, if she's. Do you reckon they sell too? the story to the Sun themselves and then split the money? <laughs> that would be quite for clever. The price of twenty years in prison. <laughs> Split it with the UAE. Be like, you clever. know, I'll get famous because it will be in the news that I'm going to prison. I'll split the sun money with you guys, UAE, Mr. Government official. She, she has since been moved to and a Dubai prison where she was She's reportedly been... refused to phone call to her family but was permitted to send a single email. That's there always questionable because it's like, you know, she could have written anything and they could have deleted it before sending it. A foreign office spokesman said, we were in contact with the local authorities following the arrest. D- Dubai has recently liberalized its drugs laws for the first time. Offenders yeah. given a, mi- a minimum of three months in prison and a fine between four and a half and twenty three thousand pounds. Crikey, that's hefty. Jesus Christ. To go I wonder to what Bo- her net worth is from Love Island though. Dubai is such a soulless fucking place as well, by the way. I no offense to anybody who's been here or wants to go or uh Have you been? Any of our friends. No, because it looks like shit. And everybody Do you know that George everybody Fit I UK? Know, everybody I know who's been, it's like they're the type of people who, who go, they're like, yeah, it's like big buildings in that. And I'm like, okay, just walk through Canary Wharf, you fucking weirdo. Like, mm-hmm. what are you on about? Who cares? It is quite, I, 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 I can imagine it being very similar to Canary Wharf, definitely. Go somewhere nice, yeah. right? Like somewhere where there's like actually, like, so, you know, there's not somewhere that's going to fall into the ocean within, within like the next Some fucking six like months. Some people like it though. Blue skies, blue water, sunny beaches. Get nice to modern infrastructure. It's a bit like man, man-made or like dystopian. I yeah, I don't you know like what? it. All. I prefer going to places that have got a bit of character. I prefer going to places where it's like I'm not sure if I'm meant to be here, but I'm loving it. So, I really like Berlin. Berlin was quite quite like that, where it was just a bit rough and bit. Why are you not meant to be in Berlin? Huh? <laughs> what do you? No, no, it was just it was just like how have I ended up here? Um, yeah, fair. It's just quite. I, I I just like places with a bit of character about them anywhere that seems like just too like yeah I don't want to too fucking like Sims like I'm just like oh, mate if I want to walk around like a big city with like big buildings like I'd rather go to like New York 
but it, a, shit, a proper shit hole. Hey, oh. I had such a nice one. I went interrailing a couple of years ago with a couple of mates and we were we were supposed to get on this train to from like northeast to southwest Germany and we accidentally fell asleep and we woke up on this lakeside town in Switzerland, had no intention of being there, but it was paradise. It was tiny. There was like a little cathedral. It was all like stone cobbles. And then literally there's just this front bay that overlooks the lake that the sun is setting on behind the mountains. And it's all like old swiss cafes and italian restaurants and stuff i kind of get the whole like you know going somewhere that's just very different and that place i'd like you know. i like doing that I, I really i'm not even i might do it for a youtube shot but i do just want to go to the airport and just get on the cheapest flight <laughs> and just see what I, I've, I've had a look and it's like latvia bratislava uh poland i've Italy. been to Bra oh i've been to bratislava bratislava sick I seen someone that did that. Someone went to what's it? Is it Lake Como, the famous one in Milan, uh, Italy? Yeah. Oh, oh fuck it! I don't know what it's called. They've got a famous lake. It's very Instagram. They've got they, a they famous flew, lake. They, they flew to. They flew to Milan. No, it's very famous. To they, Milan. They, they flew to Milan. They flew to Milan. Then got like a two-hour train. They got like a two-hour train. Went to the lake. Went to a cafe. Had lunch and then just flew flown back to the UK or wherever it was. The TGF, was, the TGF bros from. did that. They did like flying to Ibiza to scream at the floor. Literally got off the plane, yelled at the tarmac and boarded the next plane back to the UK. Yeah, I, 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 I did see that. Classic. I, see that. I would like to do, maybe I'll do that, but um, first 80-year-old man that will kiss me and then I'll leave. You scare me. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah you're, you're, you're part gay, yeah. aren't you? yeah. Not a fake game. Full fucking like Alex. freak. I'm not getting I'm not involved fake. in the bio erasure. It's not fake. I don't, I don't yeah, understand what this really. is funny joke. What's fake? What's the fake bit? I didn't even get this joke from the last time. It's not a joke. But he's trying to he's trying to annoy me. So he's trying is to he do. Saying, is he claiming you're fully straight? Oh, he is. <laughs> <laughs> Have you not seen his uh, lying EDL <laughs> it's coming home tattoo on his back? No, I have not. I haven't put yeah, up with so much homophobic abuse at football games just to be called a liar, Lewis Bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, right, the last Shoreditch time, last football? Time, last time, last time, no, not for our <laughs> mates. Chelsea Rory sending some homophobic Mate, slurs I went, I went, When I went to Stamford Bridge, like, when I had the rainbow hair, like, the amount of abuse I would get, like, when on the tube was, like, fucking mental. Like, you couldn't even believe it. No way. It was crazy. And I'm sat I, there. Oh, I could believe it. Of all fans, Chelsea probably are the worst ones for Chelsea, that as well. Chelsea! 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 I love the Chelsea. I do. But they not so loving uh, me. Which is why I, I go I go sit I go sit in the nice seats <laughs> away from all the peasants. Oh, yeah. You've got, <laughs> you've got, you've got seats there. I was going to say I'm joking, but I'm not. <laughs> so you got a box. I don't have a box. I'm not that rich. I wish. You are the box. Yeah, the box has his own box. It's down for us. Him and Todd. I get hand in hand. I get given nice tickets from a mate, but they're not going to take that very well. I'm I'm a paying customer at Chelsea Football Club, and I have been for fucking years. Um, but some of the fans are my fucking weird. Um, not everyone like I go like 85. I've made so many mates at at the bridge. Like I mean, some of them play football with with us now. Um. No way. But uh, yeah, um, but some of some people. Every are just fan base awful. has its weirdos. To be fair, they're all the fifty-year-old. They're always like fifty, like, and they just say the f slur at me a lot. Wait, um, you can't say fuck. Oh yeah, that one. No, I'm no, I'm go on then. No, oh, go on. Then. I'll save it for the football pitch when I two fit you at Shoreditch. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. All right, I got one last thing. It's a video I wanted to show you. That's a joke, by the way. I don't say any homophobic slang. Uh, guys, it's two girls, one cup. Unless no. Alex two fits me. Could you imagine? I, I I did think of that as a video idea. What happens if I started doing like commentary videos on Patreon, but it was to eighteen plus topics? Like we watch, we watch two oh, girls, one cup. YouTube would word. YouTube would submit suppress our videos quicker than you could say the words. Susan Wojcicki has stepped down from her job as CEO. All right. Thank you. Which we'll talk Shout about after Susan, this. That would be yeah. yeah. Rest in peace. Um. All right. You see this video? Are you ready for this? Said. Yeah. Are you ready for this, guys? So, um, I this saw guy? this earlier. It's a very interesting video. I want to know what your thoughts are. This goes out to everybody struggling with lust, poor masturbation, sexual immorality, sexual sin. 
I'm telling you, you can conquer it like you can. I do. This was a stronghold over my life for so long. So long. Man, there'd be times where I went a month without watching porn and masturbating. But it wasn't for the right reason. And then I, I come back, I vom, I get my vomit again, right? But I'm telling you, it was when I come to God like, God, help me, deliver me, show me, prove it to me. I know you don't want this, God. I'm willing to fight. I'm fighting. I'm fighting. It was when I put my foot in the ground, right? It was when I stepped into God, the promise of Christ, God, stepped cry. into the promise that God promised us. Dude, he will give you a way out. And every night, I used to be like a victim, right? Like my hands cuffed, like I'm walking into the jail cell every night. Like, oh God, we might have had an amazing day, but you know yes. I can't resist this. You know mm-hmm. I'm not strong enough. Maybe down the road, maybe I'll be stronger down the road. But no, no. It was when I stopped with the victim mentality. It was like, dude, I'm How fighting. long is this video? It's not like you just ask God, hey God, I'm to jack off to And him. after all these years of being a slave to this, now you're just. Oh, I don't want to do it anymore. No, that's not it. It's a battle. It's a fight. <laughs> it's a really fight. Concerned. You let the enemy take so much <laughs> Taking territory the knowledge, your whole life that you're going to have to fight your way back. In war, wars are won by small battles that gain small amounts of land, territory, everything. You're going to have to fight that back. You're going to have to Hell gain yeah. that land back. Gain that territory back. It's going to come with blood, sweat, and tears. Man, there's going to be nights where you're crying. You're going to be laying in bed fighting uh-huh. the devil, man. Fighting uh-huh. temptation. Asking God to get you out of this. You're going to. And every single night I go to bed, the devil is on my heels to watch porn before I go to sleep. Every Alex, night, how long does this video last? Now, but I have my sights set on God. I say, God, I want This man should go to improv man, classes. This, this is all one take. Man, I can't this is all one take. Me, God, now that I'm I get to the ending. And look, so, I think that was a Twitter limit as well. Yeah, that was yeah, Twitter well, limit. So what I, learned, what I learned was to quit porn and to come to God. <laughs> That's okay. what he wants, man. I'm going to watch some Jesus porn tonight. Um, There's so no guys, specific... what, what did you, What did you think of uh, that video? What was, it, what was the caption? Uh, the caption no, the caption. Uh, so that it's first cool. sentence threw me off massively when it was like I was like what the hell is lust poor masturbation I thought that was like a subset of like masturbation I was but like I've not found that genre yet poor? yeah I was like hmm, just, uh, just I'm on the there regular every one. night it's a uh, it's an odd one I think I've always kind of viewed like well especially lately like viewed a lot of religion as just kind of like a a philosophy i mean i take it i don't know if you guys are religious i don't think uh, i'm i'm not religious um mainly because i'd be absolutely terrified to be associated with somebody like that um i just like to i like to sit um i only worship one man arthur tv george mumulus paul breach yeah, uh, for me, on. he is he is the truth and everything. I love all no, religions. But... I love everyone. Yeah, you I, can, you I, can... I love all of the religions, guys. So we go. Uh, we got out of that one, guys. Uh, oh, we we got out of that one, Scott. I genuinely do. I do love religion. I I, I read about religion a lot. I think if I was me. to pick one, I'd be a Buddhist. Interesting. Buddhism's interesting. I was reading about Buddhism last night. It is the their main belief is how they can make their life as less stressful as possible. So pretty much, it's kind of like when you get overstimulated, you're just like, no, I'm not doing that. So anything that might possibly make their life a little bit more extreme, they're like, nope. No, they, just want, they want to live the simplest life with the least amount of stress. Is that why there's no Buddhist YouTubers? <laughs> uh, Charlie Roxburgh was a Buddhist monk. Was he? Genuinely serious. Like for a video? Or for, uh, in China. In China. No, no, like, he moved to China when he was like 13 for like one or two years and he was a Buddhist monk at the Shaolin Temple. That's actually quite cool, I can't lie. That's that's Dead serious. That's as enriching experience as you could possibly and have. And that's why he is the way now, because he suppressed all them <laughs> feelings and emotions for <laughs> so long. Into a, into a, into a uh, Joking, Charlie, we love you. Uh, that is the yeah. kind of Charlie, thing, though, Charlie, like, literally, yeah. by the way, for context, Charlie has just put in the WhatsApp group chat maybe two minutes ago a picture of him wearing Pornhub shorts. So if it's, so that's all you need to know about how that Buddhism went for him. Um, to be fair, if you want to live a very not stressful life, going on Pornhub will take some stress away every now and then. Well, not if you're this guy. He looks fucking terrified. <laughs> he's not happy. I, don't, I, I need to see what he's been watching. Yeah, what are, what are you watching that's making you fucking like this crazy? Astrid to be wet. fair, it's hard to figure out what he was like before. Astrid like you know. Wet. 
It's like, has he gone from a normal guy? Like, you know, there, there's a weird, it, it's, it's quite a weird thing because it like, you don't know whether he's gone from someone who used to just watch this stuff and do this stuff like several times a day and it was consuming him and like finding religion has made him a better person or whether he does was just that, a normal does guy. Does it look like, like in, it's made him a better person based on that video? Does he look like he's having fun? Does he look happy? I no. mean, he's, he's losing it a little bit, but you'd probably say no, he's a he's, he's probably in a better place than if he was spending all day every day like browsing those kind of sites and just, you know, if, if that kind of life consumed him. But if it's just like, you know, if he's just a normal guy who had urges every now and then, you know, that's the kind of... Nothing normal yeah. about that video. Honestly, mate, I think you just need to fucking crack one out. You'd probably be a lot happier. Yeah. I believe in him. Just get a boner, finger God, done and dusted. Finger God? It was God. quite a weird thing of, like, you know, him talking about the devils just sat at his bed, like, watch porn, watch porn, watch porn. Now you want to. We have a world to conquer. It's like, <laughs> haven't you got better things to do? Are there not more evil things you could be persuading me to do? He not just be sat there like... <laughs> murder the child next door and then it's like you know they then you're doing your job as the devil what do you gain out of me just having a wank right now have, <laughs> jesus so christ have you seen um talking about uh maybe the devil's not evil he's just really kinky talking about the devil weird... uh guys yeah go on i've got one eh? thanks for derailing that i don't know where i was going with that no i was trying to help you here i was like i was like yeah I, no I I was like, that wasn't that wasn't that was not a sarcastic thing I'm, I'm scared about i was scared about what you were going to ask what the devil was going to ask you to do after i was scared i'm scared about what the devil asks of you anyway to be honest um <laughs> the, de- the devil on alpha tv shoulder probably has him doing some pretty I don't crazy know what you were shit gonna, what you were going to talk about speaking of the devil and all the stuff that's been going on have you seen all the abuse sam smith's been getting yeah oh, insane. That's so, yeah the, did you see the did you see the video Wasn't in new york someone calling him a Nonsense. Devil worshipper and fucking. Because he said, uh, some he said she... fish of them. By the no, way, I don't mean that. Have you not seen the video of the joke? Have not seen the video really? of him getting shot with that in New York. But that's because of this, isn't it? No, that was because he did a music video. Oh. Kind of like little Nas's exes, where he's just dressed slutty. And some some people generally ask me, they're like, oh, Lewis, what do you think of it, man? Because I don't know why, but since I'm like their only <laughs> like bisexual gay friend that they know they look to me for guidance in anything that's like something tell us, slightly tell us, tell us if he has crossed beyond the line of acceptability and I was like sorry they're like he shouldn't be putting that in music I was like let's be honest when we were growing up Eminem was telling us to kill people <laughs> like what do you mean and he was wearing like a little slutty outfit and I was like it's a fucking music video mate it's not fuck it's like it's a music video if Shakira, if Shakira was wearing that outfit you wouldn't be saying anything so I think it's just homophobia uh, or even <sighs> if it was Harry Styles wearing it people would be like oh he's so fucking Harry Styles be a fucking cock in my mouth uh, it's just because they're not attracted to him that's the all it is Mm. Um, but also, like the fish of them stuff has been unreal. Like, if you've seen the amount of people, I've seen it. Like, the people are on fucking strings just because of the fish of them. Number one, I just want to say to everybody out there who's like fucking illiterate and stupid, he's clearly, clearly doing it there as like because he knew it would annoy people. I thought that was quite obvious that he was saying it partially as a joke. Yeah, it was tongue in cheek. Not it saying, was definitely tongue in cheek. Not saying that. It's a joke for the the fucking weird people who want to turn me into some form of villain who's against their <laughs> side. Trying. Bases, yeah. I have to because these people are fucking <laughs> mate. People on Twitter suck. Like I'll go, oh, he was doing it as a joke, and I'll go, are you saying people want they ever a joke? No, I'm saying that he clearly was doing it in jest because he knew it would piss people off, which is a good thing. Um, I think it's hilarious what the amount of people I've seen, people even people we know, who've made tweets. Where they're like vexed over the idea that a man said fish of them instead of fisherman. So, do you know anything on? Like anything? I know. To, to actually, this is the, you know, it. When there's like real life problems that affect people, I get why people can get so mad. But when it's like, <laughs> it's, it, it does not affect you. Like, okay, maybe you have to scroll through Twitter and see uh, someone you don't find attractive in an unusual outfit. You know, I, like, why do you care other than that? All like, I'm going to say is people, if, if Piers people Morgan are is too, angry... We've got too, we, 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 too much well, of the world is too... Morgan angry, but of course he fucking If Piers Morgan's is too angry, it's valid. Place. Like, if Piers Morgan's been pissed off, oh, then, I, then I feel like I feel like that's a that's a net win, isn't it? Like, everybody fucking mm. hates that bloke. Um, I'm just reading all but of these tweets. But he gets off on it. Even you talking about it now is what he wants. He doesn't want to necessarily be right. He just wants to throw his. Like the, the he wants, he, he is... goes to one end of the spectrum and throws his hat in the pot, and people yeah. react because they agree or they disagree. He's never lukewarm with it. And the thing with Sam Smith is they're really smart as well because this is like how they get people to stream their songs as well. 
Like, it's just like, it just drives so much momentum and so much like, you know, it's kind of the exact same with Little Nas when Little Nas was doing all the, the fucking, oh, people calling him a devil worshipper as well. They, they said that about Little Nas, I was meaning, but they, they were also saying that about Sam Smith and it just, it's so fucking laughable. The thing so about laughable. Sam Smith, I think that people should be annoyed about is their costume they wore um, at the Brits. Like that's even the, that. Like, why does costume. anyone care? <laughs> that's that's more, always that's on my timeline. Why that's does mo- anyone care? That's more, but you know, Sam that's Smith said he said uh, they they said you know to the designer like what can I wear that will get the most amount of people talking about me as possible? Yeah, that that's quite smart. good. I wish I sometimes I wish like you know, like sometimes I get invited to like yeah premiere or something, and I'm just like I'm so aware of the fact that I'm just the most boring plain straight white boy ever i just wear a navy suit with a white top the white to shirt go, man and a black tie and i'm like i wish I... and then yeah, you rock up no. and some people in like red shiny mm. dinner jackets uh, they're and normally stuff, in, and just they're like, normally in the on. fucking movie though to be fair that's true, that's like, true. the only time i've seen people dress like yeah, that actually, it's some, like jake some small youtuber coming along dressed like mm. that like who do Mate, you think jake you are Gyllenhaal, i saw jake Gyllenhaal, one of them ryan gosling like chris evans those guys they come in like immaculate suits like but when it's like i've seen youtubers and love islanders rock up and i'm like bro you think you're in the movie like you're not <laughs> yeah you're not in the movie. I just wear black suit, yeah. black trousers, and like that's there's, it. There's London Fashion Week awards or what? So, there's something London Fashion Week going on right now, yeah, and I got so invited to it. And then I was like, "There's no way I can pack clothing worthy and hand luggage." I missed my flight anyways. But <laughs> I, was like, I was like, "There's no fucking way like I can like remotely good." Like I remember when we went to uh, the British after party, people were talking about what they were wearing and where they got their fucking suit from and whatnot. Alex went to Louis Vuitton for his. I and did. people were saying, people were saying, where did you go for yours, Louis? Do you know what I fucking said? I went, Primark. Uh, I yeah, but with the Brits, I, though, My Navy the one Brits, is the one I from Top Man that I should the, bought for uni. When it was the Brits, man, I was like, I was going with people who had, like, immaculate, like, like who had just been, like, actually, like, there and people who'd been performing. So I was like, I can't just go in a fucking... I've got to buy, I've got to buy something. And then I, and that's why I didn't go this. I didn't go this year on purpose. Who were you going that was performing at the Brits? Uh, my best mate Harry. Who's Harry? <laughs> Styles. No way! I didn't know you knew him. Lewis. <laughs> I was so confused. <laughs> 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 little little Maybe fun, little seconds. fun, little little fun in joke there. <laughs> Kieran Carlin in the WhatsApp group. What is this guy waffling about? Read Kieran Carlin's message in the WhatsApp group. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, nobody. I'm not leaving. You guys can. Can we read stay. it out loud? Don't read it out loud. <laughs> The latest messages is like this guy likes sex. Uh, oh, you... that's literally oh, it. Oh, fucking hell! Arthur. Oh, that's literally it. I thought I I thought there was another one. Arthur, you fucking idiot. Well, it's oh, that's, I'm not that's got to get edited out. It's, it's not. got to go. It's not. It stays in now. That's hilarious. All right. Uh, you... Can you just reply like with his right hand? Am I right? <laughs> no. Because I haven't um... commented in that group chat in way too long. No, you can. If you want to be funny, you could be funny. You could accept the responsibility of being funny. I don't want to. I don't want to come across like a. Out. I don't want to come across like a bully, after, mate. Too um, late for that. Way too late. No, it's true. Um, you bully defenders left, right, and centre. La- la- yes. I'll You're the it. drug bro of Shoreditch. That's what we call you. Don't think we're allowed to call me that. Um, <laughs> so moving on, the CEO of YouTube has stepped down and has been replaced by Crypto Bro. So oh, I've heard this. So Sorry? If, if you thought it couldn't get worse than it was before, guys, um, you know that scene in uh, what was it? Um, Mega Mind, where he goes, uh, <laughs> we're under new management. You know? No. Have you no. not seen that scene in Mega Mind where it, it's the world? I've not seen Mega Mind. What? You've not seen Mega Mind? No. That is criminal. That is such a funny movie. Look, click, watch that clip. Oh. Watch that clip for context. That guy's face always annoyed me. That's Jonah Hill. I wouldn't say it's Freed. I wouldn't say Freed. I'd say under new management. That's YouTube right now. The thing is, I'm going to come across, I guess, a bit of a hypocrite here. But I think Susan Wojcicki's reign over the last few years was actually pretty decent when you think about all the other apps and how fucked up they've been. Like, look at Twitter now. I think think it's all been great. YouTube's definitely been getting better year on year. This is the most YouTube has been... This is the most... We have to remember, like, 
four years ago, YouTube didn't even speak to a creator. You had to go through Team YouTube, they wouldn't give you a response. Whereas now, it's a lot easier. Like if, for example, when my account got hacked, it would yeah. get back. If that was four years ago, no way would I have got it back. Do you remember no when way. everyone used to, you just, like the risk of getting a random yellow on an upload was so high. And now it's like only ever on videos where you're like, yeah, okay, I can kind of understand that. And also that. like the way that they handled that situation in hindsight, they managed to return YouTube to a decent, really decent place in terms of paying people very quickly after what could have been that could have been game ending like controversy what could have been the the demonetization and the racism Mm -hmm. and the terrorist videos arthur what i missed all of that arthur did you not know why demonetization exists it's because people found ads on fucking beheading videos on YouTube. So every so oh every, yeah, uh, okay. So I, I remember, I remember, ISIS I remember really hearing about the ad apocalypse. ISIS were like uh, they were doing like ten thousand beheadings in twenty four. <laughs> Their social blade was was very green. That's insane. Were they actually <laughs> popping them. off for it? No, they were blowing off. They, I, I remember fucking. I remember one time I watched an ISIS video, like one of the ones I get filed into like a Facebook group chat four years ago, and they had like fucking four K GoPros in yeah, that yeah. setup. They got like um, they got like a side they got men. con films yeah, on con it, con films level production. <laughs> like bro, it was like I was like, but YouTube, she saved YouTube there. Like it could have gone a lot worse, and I think everybody moaned because that's what we all do. But in hindsight, I mean, I've stopped complaining relatively because I've I've actually realised that YouTube is so much. I've worked with TikTok. I've worked with Twitter, I've worked with Instagram, and compared to YouTube, they can't even fucking lace YouTube's boots in terms of the support you get. So YouTube is actually so fucking clear, and I think it's time. Right, obviously, none of us could pay our bills without YouTube. Yeah, yeah and, exactly. And, and like TikTok, yeah. well, what am I going to do? What you realise is that like, TikTok doesn't even cut you in, does it? Right, Lewis, like, properly. Like you, you upload TikToks, you don't really get paid at all off there. I think, yeah, I think like. Uh, I'll be honest. I don't really care about saying money stuff. Like I think on my account where I've got like two hundred million views, I've made like two point eight k. Exactly. And when you compare that to YouTube, like if you got two hundred million views on YouTube, you'd be a fucking millionaire. I would be here right now. Hey. <laughs> yeah, we'd all be retired. Well, I, mean, I don't know how many monthly views I've got. Maybe I shouldn't uh, work it out. Uh, well, thank you guys for watching this episode of the podcast. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. Um, if you guys do enjoy, uh, I will get all the episodes up on the other platforms, um, so you can go listen to it on like Spotify and that. I know people are asking. It it, t- it takes a while um, to sort all that stuff out. Um, I, I I I haven't done it in a fucking age because I've just been working with Spotify. So now I've got to figure out how to fucking do it myself. Um, but uh, yeah, check out Arthur. Check out Lewis, and uh, we'll be back next week. Uh, again, uh-huh. um, uh, maybe potentially in the studio, um, ideally, and uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be good. But uh, thank you for the support. We'll see you guys soon.